Thank you, Rich. Checking on Money Matters this morning. Caribbean Resorts sees vacation bookings outpace pre-COVID numbers. And companies are continuing to work on COVID vaccines that may fight the virus in the long term. Jane King joins us live from New York with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning, Jane. Good morning. Hi, Bruce and Jen. Good morning to yes, Another COVID vaccine could be coming, but this one geared for the long term. Now, Tonics Pharmaceutical CEO Seth Letterman says the animal trials show the vaccine worked, so their goal is to find a vaccine with durability. It's no time to be complacent. We can't get a year from now and realize that the protection from these is only six months. We need other technologies. Altonix hopes to study the vaccine on humans later this year. Well, last year, a rough year for stadium goers. 21% of people say they even cried missing their favorite sports and concerts. That's according to an Oracle Food and Beverage survey. And they can't wait to go back. 32% of people plan to return to stadiums immediately. 54% say they will return within the four, first four months after reopening. Well, summer bookings at Sandals in the Caribbean up from levels from even before the pandemic. The CEO told Fox Business business, it's already seen 25% more vacation bookings this year than it had in 2019. So he says people ready to move and experience the summer holidays. And identity fraud cost Americans a total of $56 billion last year, with about 49 million consumers falling victim. That's according to the 2021 identity fraud study by Javelin Strategy and Research. The bulk of the losses, $43 billion, stem from ID theft scans where criminals stole information through robocalls or phishing emails. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Oh, we know it is such a problem. Thank you, Jane.